So on a day that ends in Y, usually Matt Walsh is going after trans people because he thinks it's like one of the biggest threats to the country. Um, but now he's added another thing to his list of things to demonize. And this time it is voting rights. Okay, let's hear him out. These people should not be allowed to vote. I mean, you hear people say that in a half-joking way. Oh, I can't believe these people can vote. But, but really, they shouldn't be able to. Like, actually, they should not be able to vote. That should be something that we, that, that becomes a serious topic of conversation. Okay, like the kind of thing that comes up on presidential debates. Okay, like an issue that political parties have to deal with in their platforms. We should really be talking about this. That there are a lot of people who are voting in this country who should not have that right. They don't deserve it. <laughs> and as I've tried to explain many times, the right to vote, it is not a God-given right guaranteed to everybody regardless of anything. It's not. Okay, it, it, it's, not, it's not fundamental to your human nature that you automatically are entitled to um, have a say over the you know, political system in your country. <laughs> that literally is exactly what it is. So it's called a right. It's called a right. The whole idea of a right is that, like, it cannot be taken away. That's the whole idea of a right. And this is something he would understand in the context of, like, the Second Amendment. It's a right. The government has no ability to restrict this in any way, shape, or form. Now, I think they stretch it really far to the point where they would argue, like, you're allowed to have a machine gun or whatever, which I don't agree with. But, like, when it comes to the Second Amendment, it's, oh, it's a right. This isn't even a debate. But now, with voting rights, it's, oh, well, we should restrict it. Well, if you're restricting it, that means it's no longer a right. That means you would need a permit, which comes from the word permission, which means it is a privilege. So look, okay, just say it, Matt. Just say, I don't believe in democracy. I'm anti-democracy. And follow it through to its logical conclusion, right? I'm in, I believe in autocracy, or I believe in oligarchy, or I believe in authoritarianism, or I believe in fascism. Say it. Say it. I hate how weaselly these guys, they're so weaselly. I tell you guys exactly what I think on every issue in, in specific detail, knowing sometimes when I'm as direct as I am, you might not like what I'm saying. But I do it because it's a matter of honesty. It's a matter of integrity to tell people exactly where I am on the different issues and exactly the labels that apply, etc. He's, he would never I'm a fascist. Just say it. Just say it. Say it. Coward. Okay, it, it, it's, not, it's not fundamental to your human nature that you automatically are entitled to um, have a say over the you know, political system in your country. It's not. There, there are some basic guidelines that should be in place. You should, you should have to earn that right. Not everybody should have it. And it is so incredibly obvious that, are, that if you are an absolute oblivious moron who knows nothing about your own country or the political or the, or, or the, the government uh, that runs it, then you shouldn't have any say over it. I got really, really bad news for you, Matt. So if you want to talk about, hey, you need to have some basic knowledge in order to be able to vote, you know that a lot of Daily Wire viewers, a lot of Matt Walsh viewers, a lot of conservative Republicans are not going to be able to vote. They're not. Now, look, I know what he actually wants. What he actually wants is like, if you're conservative, you can vote. If you're a Democrat, a liberal, a leftist, you can't vote. Like, that's ideally what he wants. That's what he thinks a test would like show is that conservatives are educated and liberals are stupid. Hey, it don't work like that at all, homie. Not at all. But like, what does that say about who this guy is and what he believes? It's like everybody who disagrees with me shouldn't have rights. Well, that's funny because I think people who disagree with me should still have rights. Wow. <laughs> really difficult to, to come to that conclusion and say that. It's not at all difficult. But that's how he thinks. So what would be your process, man? What would be your process? Well, maybe we should have like a test. We can call it like a, a, a poll test. Oh, wow. Well, well, let's go ahead and look at our history. Has that ever been tried before? Have we ever done that before? Oh, that's right. We have. And how was it used? It was used in a nefarious way to try to disenfranchise minority voters. That was the idea. In fact, they would only give it to people who they thought would vote in a left-wing direction anyway. 
we know the history of this. We know the history of this. Any sort of, like, whatever process you would come up with to try to, like, rule people out and let, o and let other people in, it's impossible to come up with a process that's not colossally biased. It, you can't do it in a way that's fair or objective or neutral. There is no way to do that. Nor should we even be having this conversation, because again, if something is a right, it means it's off the table. It's non-negotiable, right? And he clearly doesn't agree. So look, my, own, my main point here is very simple. Like, just own it. Say I'm an autocrat, or I'm an authoritarian, or I'm a fascist, or I believe in oligarchy, or I believe in rule by philosopher kings, right? Like, just say it. Just say it. And he's not going to say that part. He is going to come out and say, we should stop, what, like, stupid people from voting? Well, again, Matt, I hate to break it to you, but if that was the, if that was the way we were approaching it, which we shouldn't, but if that was the way, you would be first on the chopping block to not be allowed to vote. Remember when he went on Rogan and he said something like, there's like a million uh, kids who have done who have had surgery to transition their gender or something like that, and then they looked it up and it was like 4,000. <laughs> Remember that. Remember that. So that shit, is that, is that like, uh, okay, you're out, son. You botched a basic fact so clearly that like, you know, why should you have the right to vote? Why should you have the right to vote? If you get things so brazenly wrong, so insanely wrong, you know, you can make an argument, hey, Matt Walsh, his defining characteristic these days is what? He's against the freedom even for adults to transition if they want to transition. So you're against freedom. Well, I could argue freedom is a core American value. Oh, look at that. You're against a core American value. Therefore, maybe we should take away your right to vote. Right? Again, I don't believe this, but if you're going to start opening the door, right? You want to talk about the slippery slope. It's the slippery, slippery slope of all time where there is no end to it. There is no end to it. So... No, voting is a right. It should remain a right. And these guys freak out over, like, universal uh, voter registration, which Trump was just flipping out about that because uh, Shapiro, Governor Shapiro in Pennsylvania, just did that. Everybody should be celebrating that. But no. Here's what they actually want. They want to restrict the people who don't agree with them. And they have various ways of doing that, like voter ID, for example. And so the lower the turnout is, the more likely it is Republicans win. The higher the turnout it is, the more likely Democrats win. And so they don't want, they want as few people to vote as possible so that they have a better chance. If that's what it takes for you to win, maybe you should reevaluate your own ideology. All right, guys, that's the show. Love y'all very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here, listening to me babble, all this nonsense, all this silliness. Uh, everybody do me a big favor, please. Click subscribe to the channel. Um, click like. All that fun stuff. I mean, I don't know what else to say, man. Support the show on Patreon. Support Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. We'll be doing another debate breakdown special this week on Crystal Kyle and Friends. Uh, really, really, really looking forward to that. That should be cool. And yeah, that's all I got for you. I'll talk to everybody tomorrow. Everybody have a great rest of your day. Hey, y'all, do me a favor and like and subscribe. It helps out big time in the algorithm. Click the bell as well for notifications when videos drop. And watch that video on screen right now. You know you want to.